There's a little walleye. Yep, about 14 to 17. Okay. He gobbled it. That's how they're supposed to bite it. What a nice perch. How's it going everyone? Shane Magnuson here, Northwest Bait and Scent, and we did a walleye fishing today out of Crow Butte up here, uh, almost straight across from Boardman, Oregon on the Washington side. Uh, had a pretty nice little walleye day. I think we kept 11 walleye and, uh, and four perch and had a few other opportunities, but wanted to go over a little bit about uh, our riggings today. Uh, we fished bottom walkers and crawler harnesses and super slow death rigs, slow turn hooks. Um, were effective for us and yeah we're gonna talk about how we baited those how we scented those and um, how we found the fish because uh, we started real shallow and worked our real, worked our way really deep today so um, we're gonna continue in and and go from there so as we continue on here uh, I've got leaderboards tied up as you can see with uh, many different rigs we got um, Hammer time rigs here with double hook harness with double hooks. That's a nice crawler harness. Gives off a good thump, uh, especially in deep water for targeting these fish. Uh, we got multiple slow slow turn hook rigs. Um, we did really well off these spinning glow rigs today. Uh, that metallic purple was good, and uh, we thread a worm on those and make the worm spin. And uh, those were our two main rigs we pulled uh, as we targeted fish today. Um, what I did notice as we fished these rigs, we, we started in real shallow water today, up in about 15 foot of water, where we'd been catching them over the last couple weeks and they had disappeared. And we slowly worked our way out to uh, finding them in 60 to 70 foot of water and, uh, and doing a real slow downhill troll. And uh, I found um, that the bigger baits worked really well. Uh, we caught them both off the uh, the crawler harness and the slow turn hooks but the bigger the worm the better and I believe they're feeding real heavily today off the um, off the little lamprey smolt that are headed to the ocean and that's why those bigger worms worked better so to start with let's talk about baiting these rigs uh, we got night crawlers here uh, pretty pretty basic getting these night crawlers and pull out a nice big one like so. Now I like a big night crawler. Um, yeah, we caught a lot of 14 to 17 inch fish today, but even those big fish like these big baits. So don't be afraid of a big worm down there. And when it comes to baiting these hammer time rigs, it's pretty simple. You take the top hook right through the head like so on the worm and then the bottom hook we go down the worm oh about uh, about an inch and a half two inches 
and we just thread that worm in and kind of pull it through so it sticks out the side like like that he's moving around a little bit but you kind of get the gist and those walleye are going to climb up that what you want to do is when you see that first bite is make sure you really leave that in the rod holder and let those fish chew and chomp their way up that worm that is uh, really important and they'll get up to these two hooks and hang themselves and and uh, and get them so that's your basic crawler harness rig um, we have 10 pound fluorocarbon trilene leader here and on this crawler rig i've got about 42 inches i typically like almost four feet um, that really keeps it up off the bottom and away from your bottom walker so four foot of 10 pound fluorocarbon is on that as we keep going we're going to talk about the slow turn hooks and these can be a little bit more tricky to bait as you can see i have uh this was one of my hot rigs today, this uh, little metallic purple chartreuse blade spin and glow with a uh, slow turn hook. Now these uh, Berkley Fusion slow turn hooks, they are uh, fantastic. They make that worm spin uh, basically like a herring if you're salmon fisherman, but it gives a nice corkscrew spin. And we're gonna thread one of those on there no trailer hook on those if you put a trailer hook on those it won't allow that hook to spin like it's supposed to so again you got your worm this has a head end right here and you want to start at the head end which would be the dark end of the worm go right in the top nose of him like so and we're slowly going to just thread him on right down the center course they don't like that a whole lot thread that on work him on there like so and then you're gonna poke them through but you only want the tip of the hook to just barely poke out like that and you're gonna see how that worm has taken the shape of that slow turn hook that's what's gonna create that spin that's what's gonna create that worm to spin down in the water so it's going to thread on just like so. And you're going to pull that in the water and it's going to basically spin just like that. Now, above that, I got that little spin and glow. But what you got to be careful is, is if you run too big of a spin and glow or too big of a blade above that hook, it will no longer turn. So you want to run really small stuff above that slow turn hook to make sure that it still turns as you thread it on down there. Again on that, we're running about four feet of leader, and I like the 10 pound fluorocarbon. I stick with that. Uh, these fish get real finicky sometimes, especially in the clear water. And we run that up to your bottom walker, which varies in this deeper water. Um, today we started in 15 to 25 foot of water, and I was running a lot of. Uh, two ounce to two and a half ounce bottom walkers. And at the end of the day, when we finished out in 60 to 70 foot of water, we were running three and four ounce bottom walkers. So make sure you have a good selection of those to, to get down and kind of keep that 45 degree angle and keep that bottom water walker just ticking along the bottom. To give you an idea, we were trolling at about 1.2 to 1.4 miles an hour and that bottom walker was barely ticking with about 90 feet of line out in 60 foot of water. So that gives you kind of an idea where you should be at um, and tick it along and, and just let that worm roll down there. So one of our biggest things was scenting these rigs today. And when it comes to setting the crawler harnesses, um, we definitely catch a lot of fish fishing in plain, but the scent has really enhanced the bites. Uh, we've noticed that the real finicky walleye will commit a lot better and the already somewhat aggressive walleye will be even more aggressive. So you, you hook and land a lot more fish um, by adding the scent and we've played with it a lot. Um, we got a few different ones we use all the time out here. We got uh, a walleye TNT, which has some garlic and anise in it. The craw anise is always a favorite. 
The walleye has uh, just uh, just crawdad and a little um, a little shad oil in it, so it's a real basic bait fish scent, and then of course garlic. But uh, scenting on this is real simple. I uh, I keep two of these tubs in the boat, and I vary which scent I like to use. We'll grab the walleye here. Take the little seal off. Now this is a pure fish oil scent. So there's a couple reasons I, I really like a pure fish oil scent is it coats the lure really nicely. All these spinning glows and blades and everything we have out here have real nice UV style paint jobs on them that are designed to catch fish and really attract fish. And by, uh, by covering those up with some of the gels and things that are out there, you're covering up that paint job and also you're adding more weight to that lure. By using a pure fish oil scent, um, it's going to disperse nicely off that. It's going to coat it evenly and still allow all those attractant paint jobs to show through the scent. Um, the biggest question I get is how often do I refresh in the scent? And the scent really holds on nicely and we'll refresh in about every half hour to 45 minutes, which is uh, about the time you'd check your bait anyway. So we've put some in a tub here, like so, put a little bottom in the bottom. And then about every time we bring in the worm to check bait and things, we just take that worm, dunk her in that old tub, make sure it's nice and soaked up, bring her out, and then send her out there with the scent dripping off that. And that is going to bring you many more bites and also uh, more aggressive bites that are gonna uh, hold on and put more fish in the boat. So those were the basic keys today for catching walleye here on the Columbia out of Crow Butte. Uh, running crawler rigs, running slow turn hooks, um, started shallow, worked our way deep, keeping things fishing in that uh, 1.2 to 1.4 miles an hour and uh, keeping everything nice and centered up. Well, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video and, and enjoyed this content and want to learn more about uh, using scents and, and catching more fish off different products, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, Northwest Bait and Scent, and uh, we'll be putting out regular videos to hopefully help you put more fish in the box and uh, see you out on the water.